coming, a lot of new people. Let's have everybody just in, uh, introduce themselves by their first name. We'll start with you. Hi, I'm Jaden. Hey, Jaden, and that would be a uh, friend of? Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Chris. And Chris would be a friend of? Cheyenne. <laughs> Good to see you, Chris. Welcome. And then we'll go over there. Yeah. Who won the three up? Okay. So everybody, please respect uh, Peter, and also more importantly, the Word of God that he wants to share and apply to your lives today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello. Some of you I know, a lot of you I don't. I'm Peter. Uh, I stumbled into the rock what was it, eight years ago, and I walked up and I said, "Who's the boss?" And some kid says, "That guy over there. We call him PT." Hi, and I said, "What goes on here?" And, PT gave me the uh, gave me the rundown, and I said, "Wow, that sounds like fun. Can I help?" And he checked me out, and he vetted me, and I've been coming. It was helping to uh, be an adult volunteer for a while, and I on uh, let's see, 2001 versus 2008. On about the seventh or eighth anniversary of the 9/11 attacks, I had this as I lovingly call it, an inspiration, and I have been doing talk times here with Tim's blessing for eight years. Eight years, right. So, uh, uh, of all the gifts God has given me, one of them it just happens to be observation. And I hear something, I see something, I experience something, and I immediately say, hmm, God's trying to tell us something about that. So. Uh, and then I sit back and I come up with something. And with that in mind, the first thing I need to do is remind, remind me and remind all of us. This. I put a note in here. Everything starts with Psalm 19. Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. That's just a simple prayer I, t I say that, Lord, I'm going to sit and blabber a while, but I want everything I say to be according to your word. Okay, let's go to work. I'm going to open up with a uh, passage uh, from uh, the Gospel of Luke, just a short one. It said, Jesus is saying here, from everyone, <clears throat> from everyone who has been given much, much will be required. The context of this is Jesus uh, was talking not only to his disciples, but to uh, whoever was listening. And the general, the general theme is he's talking about our usage of our personal, uh, our personal worldly possessions, material things, as it were. Now, as, as I was growing up and learning God's word, uh, it, it seemed to me, I got the impression that it was always the emphasis on such a, you know, just a spiritual aspect. Well, here's you, here's heaven, here's you, here's heaven. And as I age and, you know, God grants me more wisdom, I come to the realization that uh, the words of Scripture, and I see constantly how these words of Scripture can be applied to our earthly existence before we go to heaven. Now, I am firmly, truly of the belief that the United States of America is the most blessed country. I'm going to have to explain the context. Uh, Matthew, Jesus once again is talking in, in a parable. But when, <clears throat> but when the king came to look over the dinner guests, he saw there was a man who was not dressed in wedding clothes. i got to interrupt. Tim, have you ever studied the, the, the history of this? Uh, was that a, uh, a concept that was followed in the ancient time? Mm -hmm. The host would do that? Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. I wasn't certain of that. That's why I, I put that in here. This story is about a man who gave a feast. Evidently, it was a wedding feast. And the custom at the time was, if somebody came in inappropriately dressed, the host of that feast would give you some proper clothes to wear, and you were expected to wear those to the feast. Well... This man came in and he says, hey, I'm going to take the free lunch, but I'm not going to put that on. And, uh-oh, interrupt myself, Peter. 
this, the man in this story was invited to a feast simply because of the generosity of the host. And the corollary to that is, we have forgiveness of sins simply because of the generosity, the grace of God. We didn't deserve that, but God is giving that to us. When the guests got to the feast, short letter, he writes, we love him simply because he loved us first. And that's what I have to say. Now I throw this out. Who wants to throw out thoughts, comments, anything? Hey, come on in. Hey. Junior volunteer has, has to do with this. And that is, um, I think this is also coupled with something that Peter does every single week. Uh, you know, we talked about we are blessed. I can attest to that. The United States is a very blessed country when it comes to uh, stuff materialism and so forth because I grew up, some of you don't know this, I grew up in Africa, I was born there, uh, my dad was missionary in Africa, I was born in Lusaka, Zambia, Africa, and I saw people who were starving, I mean literally starving. None of you, including me, were not starving, believe me. When you're starving, you are malnourished and you have just a deformed body, it's, it's, it's really something when you see a person who is really starving. And they eat only one kind of food a day. Every, every day they eat the same food, it's called mealy meal. It's crushed uh, corn and then it's uh, put into hot water or boiling water and then they mix it up and it becomes like bread dough and that's what they eat every single day. I uh, appreciate everything. Thank you, Peter. Um, You're welcome. We really appreciate that. All right, let's pray. Respect the moment. Dear Lord God, Heavenly Father, as we look around, we see many different teens and with many different talents, skills that you have given to them. We pray, dear Lord, that they are touched by your love and your grace in Christ our Savior so that they will show that responsibility out of loving hearts to share with other people as they are blessed and all of us are blessed so much. Help us, dear Lord, to share those blessings with the people of this world, the people who are our friends, our relatives, our, uh, our family, and, and others. We pray that you continue to bless us with people like Peter as they come to share God's word with us. We thank you, dear Lord, that we have been reminded of the great blessings that we have through Christ, especially forgiveness and eternal life so that we can in turn then show our love to you and to other people by sharing those blessings with them. We love because you, Lord, first loved us. Continue to bless the teens then with your grace and love. Remind them that you are always with them with your presence and with your forgiveness and with eternal life. Help them through their difficult days ahead. For you are their God and dear Lord, you are their Savior. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen.